beat Donald Trump. Like, I'm sure every day she's like, these black motherfuckers think they hate this motherfucker. Try sleeping with this motherfucker. You would, like, the hate that you would try having to smell this nigga farts. Or try having to not throw up every time he attempts to kiss you. The fuck you think you hate him? So believe that she wanted this get back. And what better way to get back at a fucking white supremacist racist than a fucking black man? I am Ayo Canseco, and this is Are You Serious? As in, Ivanka, listen, are you serious? Like, what are we doing? Sweetheart, listen, I, I got I got to spill the beans. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you first of all, the reason why I, I don't have no real love for you, no sympathy for you, is because when you did that speech, when you took Michelle's speech, and just said it word for word like that, that was so disrespectful to me. Like that was maybe where you're from, plagiarism isn't a big deal. Like people's intellectual properties aren't a big deal. But here, we want credit for our shit. And when you usurp our shit and then put it off as yours, that's extremely disrespectful because what it's saying is, oh, it's just a nigger that made it. Fuck it. A nigger, I take a nigger shit. Nobody gives a fuck what a nigger says. It's my shit now. This is what they used to do in the, in the music industry. You have niggas singing their heart out, doing all the work, whatever like that. But here come a white group and just throw their shit like, fuck it. We on now. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have no sympathy for you, sweetheart. Before we get started on this shit, whatever like that, shout out to everybody who's been donating. Love, love, love. If you have not donated, go to that PayPal. Link is in the description. Y'all fuck with that. Uh, all my local artists, y'all make sure y'all go to the Facebook Messenger and not the Instagram. Not the Instagram. Don't try to send me a message on Instagram. Send me the messages on Facebook Messenger. I will not get them if you send them on Instagram. I will purposely not get them. So, y'all make sure y'all do that. Love, love, love to everybody who's donated. What else? Um, y'all see all the Instagram and Facebook inf information, so y'all got everything I need. Let's get down to Ivanka. Okay, what the story, and, and what's, what's so crazy about this whole situation with Ivanka Trump being hospitalized, um, and, you know, they're giving this bullshit reason for why she was hospitalized and shit like that, and, and it was so secret, and, and you know... Um, Trump didn't want to go see her and shit like that. I, I tell you guys all the time, I'm just a regular street nigga, whatever like that. Being in the street, what you learn is how to read people. You have to be on top of shit. There, there can be an undercover officer um, pretending to be a drug addict and he's trying to buy, you know, crack or whatever from you, whatever. And you have to be able to use your own discernment. And I love that word, discernment. And at your own discretion, say whether or not he's an informant or not. You have to do the same thing with your friends. You have to be like, is this nigga like the law? Is he not working with the police? Because that can happen too. But there's a lot of shit that you have to be on top of. You have to be extremely suspicious. I always say, being a criminal is the most stressful career that anybody can go into because you don't have, there are no designated enemies. Everyone is your enemy. You know what I'm saying? The, the bitch on the side of you. Um, sometimes your your parents, your friends, the the police, uh, the other street niggas. Like everybody is out to get you. You have no friends, no friends. So it's extremely stressful. So you know, if we're talking about you know uh, being disabled and who should get fucking work when it comes, like criminal shoot. That's a fucking very stressful career. But with this. You 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 can read shit very well, whatever like that. She went to the hotel, hotel. She went to the hospital, was very secretive and shit like that. And you know they're giving this I belong, whatever type of kidney, I fucking some type of growth on some shit, whatever like that. And we know that that's bullshit. Now we know people within the, the, the right circles know that she's um, she's dabbled uh, and been dealing with. Um, prescription medication for a while now. What, for the people who never pop pills, whatever like that, what you have to do whenever you like 
have taken too many pills, whatever like that, they gotta pump your stomach and shit like that. So they gotta pump your stomach, and when they pump your stomach, whatever, they really like do that MKG shit, whatever, and it's, you can detect shit. What happened was, when she overdosed this time, they found out that there was a life inside of her. And understand the side effects of like opiates. First of all, how fucking, like irony has no fucking bounds. Like it's just crazy. We're down here, it's kind of like Hunger Games. Down here in real life, we're dealing with this opiate crisis, whatever like that. We're not really getting any type of really aid from the government and shit like that, but we're having to deal with our family members and, and our friends being turned into real deal drug addicts right before our eyes and shit like that, while the people up on the hill just look at us in amusement, just watch the news for amusement, like, oh, look what the fuck they did. Like, they're just watching the purge and shit. But now, kind of like on purge, the purgers have found the code this year to their house and they've broken in. So now the opiate crisis is within the White House. And what opiates do to you is kind of like they unleash the animal-like instincts that are inside of you. And with a girl, it makes them extremely horny and even more sexual. Now, of course, Ivanka can't take out that, you know, sexual frustration on the sack of potatoes. But what you do have is security guards. Like you have your, your uh, secret service and shit like that. And just imagine you got this white Russian girl and all day long you're looking at these bodybuilding cut up ass niggas, whatever like that. You knowing that and then also in your mind, you hate this nigga. You hate Donald Trump. Like... I'm sure every day she's like, these black motherfuckers think they hate this motherfucker. Try sleeping with this motherfucker. You would like the hate that you would try having to smell this nigga farts. Or try having to not throw up every time he attempts to kiss you. The fuck you think you hate him? So believe that she wanted this get back. And what better way to get back at a fucking white supremacist racist than a fucking black man? But obviously... She wasn't used to. I, how could she be? She been with him for, I mean, and they had a fucking crazy eye on her. Crazy eye. So she around this bitch, she rolling like a motherfucker. She didn't gave the nigga the eye. Niggas is, like I said, niggas is on this shit. Like, so we know when a bitch wanna fuck with her like that. Oh, uh, nigga, I do not, you know what I'm saying? Find the right spot. You know what I'm saying? So they flirting and shit like that. They doing on the low, whatever. And then one night, you know what I'm saying? Nigga really tapped this whole like he was opposed to. And being that she wasn't used to that, that man that she got, when this nigga tried to pull out, she pulled a nigga closer. Oh, oh shit, bitch. Ah, oh, 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 bitch, you nasty. Hold on. Ah, shit, bitch. Let me get back to work. Fuck. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here, this stupid ass bitch. This nigga down the hallway with it. This nigga down the hallway with it. Now. This bitch starting to have morning sickness. She still popping pills and shit like that. She a nasty bitch. This bitch probably ain't even got there to take no bath after that shit. Now this bitch taking pills and shit like that. She's scared, but oh man. She want to do that shit again, whatever. Nigga probably got spooked and shit like that. Know what I mean? And when they go in there and they found that baby, I think Donald knew. This is why he didn't go to the hospital. I think that's what's going on right fast. Now, what I want y'all to do is do the research, go back on it and look and make sure it's not no black Secret Service members that have left as of late. Just look around and look for a black man and see. Now, the, the biggest thing now with the, the black man need to worry about, you can leave from that job, but they got your name and everything like that. This bitch gonna come with them child support papers. Like, once this shit hit goddamn, this shit gonna hit the fan. Now that I broke the store, this shit gonna hit the fan. She gonna come with them child support store, them child support papers. But you gonna be straight, though, whatever like that, because niggas gonna send you money and shit like that because you fuck Trump, bitch. Like, you gonna be famous, my nigga. You ain't gotta hide, big dog. Come on out, let the world know what's going on. You bam that bitch. This hoe can't even, if this nigga try to fuck this bitch, and that's probably what happened. 
He tried, Trump tried to fuck her after this man that ran up down on his hoe like that. Man, Trump went in that bitch and felt like he would, uh, jumped out a fucking window. What the fuck is going on? Where's the fucking wall at? No wall here. The fuck is going on, I, Ivanka? What the fuck, you bitch? I fucking ordered you. Bitch, I didn't order you to, for you to fuck niggas. Bitch, the fuck have you been fucking with? You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And I think that's really what's going on. Y'all think I'm bullshitting, but do y'all research. Do y'all research and see if that goddamn ain't go on if you can't put these goddamn puzzles together or whatever like that. You don't go You don't go to the hospital for the shit that she went to the hospital. She was benign. She was benign. They snuck this whole shit in. They snuck it in. So what the fuck are they trying to hide? The fuck? Big Fans Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco. This is Are You Serious? See you on the minute.